Breaking news, my wonderful people. Hmm. Hey, the PDP matter is becoming really, really serious. So much so now that um, leaders and elders and the party are saying to Atiku and to Wiki, if you don't reconcile these differences and what is happening, if there is no way forward, we are going to leave the party. And it's not a threat. It's not. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. 2023, we are moving out of PDP. If this crisis remains unsolved, Jerry Ghana wants. We can't continue in a place where there is discord. We are moving out. If you refuse to deal with this and to get it resolved once and for all. Jerry Ghana, former Minister of Information and leader of Newsom Wiki Reconciliation Camp, has warned that if the crisis in the People's Democratic Party PDP is not resolved, he will, along with Wiki and others, dump the party. Ghana stated this on Friday while commissioning a project in Port Harcourt, River State, the capital, urging Nigerians not to wait their votes for the All Progressive Congress APC because they have failed Nigerians woefully. Report has said, We want to assure you that the problem with the People's Democratic Party, we shall resolve them. And if it does not resolve, <laughs> there is no two way about it. If it does not resolve, this leader, the governor here, together with all of us, we shall tell the people of Nigeria where to go. They are not babies. Don't make the mistake of wasting your vote to go to the All Progressive Congress. Don't do that. You know who I mean. They have failed evidently. I don't need to convince you. Failed. Therefore, don't even go there, he said. Ghana noted that Nigerian's military force are more than enough to defeat these bandits and terrorists and bokos. The nation, the, what the nation has can deal with them. I tell you, you understand what I'm saying. The word, a word is enough for the wise. They don't want it defeated. That's all I can say for now. Let the wise understand. Why appeal to the president and other leaders that the nation cannot continue to lose its security operative? The military forces are more than enough to defeat these very bandits. They are not more than us, but they need the kind of qualitative leadership that will give the kind of order and direction that will provide the rescue model and the kind of equipment they need. Everything they need to deliver this nation is really in their hand. But this government has not given the clear indication that they are interested in ending this thing at all. You know who they are. You know what I'm talking about. I will leave it at that. Wow. Just wow. Can you see that? Everybody knows what is going on. For the fact that nobody is talking does not mean that people do not know. Everybody is aware. You know, I know, we know. That this whole insecurity thing is fostered. Okay? A few days ago, we brought you up to speed. We did. We brought you up to speed that, you know, um, one of the APC chieftain in, in Lorry said, we count how they brought in the Bokos, okay, in 2015 to win election. He said, but after they won that election, they refused to go. He said, Buhari did not send them away. This is his words, not mine. Buhari did not send them away. They refused to go. And today, we know the resultant effect, you know. Even Erufai is not free. His hands are all entangled. Have you seen the Attorney General? Attorney General of the Federation, if you want to analyze that man, every definition of corruption, everything that is sneaky, that is dodgy, that is not right, the man's hand is there. Have you heard or seen that the guy has been investigated or Buhari cautioned him? Uh -uh. Attorney General is too far now. That is his very own son-in-law. Oh, you don't know. Attorney General Abubakar Malami is married to Buhari's own daughter. What does that make him? His son. His son in love. Or his son in law, as you may want to call it. Yeah. So there's no need to caution him. He does no wrong. He does no, see no evil, hear no evil. If you are thinking 
okay any oil kind of oil deal you know recently himself and the minister of finance zinab we accused of unlawfully withdrawing money from the countries from the nation's treasury and giving to some contractors and again the contract has been found to be shady that it was not carried out there was just something about it and yet who has really investigated the matter what has the president said is he in insecurity as the president you know given out his own concern with regard to insecurity i want to say to you the answer is no if you know otherwise please let me know i will apologize have the president said anything concrete when something very drastic happens then you hear oh buhari is in a closed door meeting with the service chiefs something day wrong with us with our ear can he not talk to us can he not say fellow nigerians this that is going on is unheard of we will defeat them then you know a man that is not part and parcel of it when a man is being dodgy shady and on all sides trying to be corny then you know that there is problem yes exactly that's what is going on and when you look at the nigerian society today and all that is happening you know that we are in for a you know for a for a for a for a season mm. honestly sincerely speaking we are in for what we may not totally have gotten a grasp of yes and that's why every one of us with one accord must rise up to the occasion and ensure okay we must rise up to the occasion and ensure that at the end of the day mm, we come out of this very predicament what is going on this what is going on right now is not acceptable in any way form or kind you know why mm. you know why we if we continue like this at the end of the day every one of us we have ourselves to blame so the time to make hell is when the sun is shining it's not when the sun has gone okay and then uh, it's now it's now windy uh you may it's humid and not you don't form hail you don't make hail that time you call the luscious grass nice and fresh okay from the very first instant and you begin to dry them and begin to get them ready bundle them and keep them in a safe place dry and safe place preparing for either the cold season or winter as they will call it overseas so at that time there is no need mm, to take your animals out otherwise you may suffer diseases that may break out into the heads and the result is that is death so anyone that is lazy will not do the right thing at the right time and during winter will suffer leave us a comment don't forget to like us share subscribe god bless bye for now